Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how you should be really careful about which ad networks you use within your apps. So there was an article in the news earlier this week on Monday. I read it in Sky News, but I'm sure it was all over the place, saying Google pulls apps showing pornographic adverts to children. And basically Google, what it says is Google Play has pulled 60 apps from the App Store because it was showing, uh, it was using a, was it, uh, a malicious code called Adult Swine, which as well as displaying inappropriate ads, attempted to trick users into installing fake security apps and register for expensive services. Now, to the to the civilian, to the person who's not in the app industry, it might look like it was all done maliciously with intent. And it, you know what? It may have been. I don't even know. But one of the things that scares me about using ad networks is that I have very little control over which ads are shown. This is one of the reasons why I stick with I stick with the three that I use. On a, well, the, the only three that I use at the moment are Google, are uh, AdMob, you know, obviously. Uh, Facebook audience network, which does very little for me. I know it does a lot better for other people. And AppLovin. AppLovin did really good for a while, but then after a while, it just sort of it just fizzled out, and where I just, I don't see anything. So the majority of my ad revenue right now comes from AdMob, and I get contacted all the time by these new companies. I mean, I've gotten three calls in the last week from a company that they're one of these aggregate services. So what they say is. Rather than just using, say, AdMob or whatever ad network, what we'll do is we'll bid them all together so we'll give you the best ads, uh, the best prices to give you the highest eCPMs and all that kind of stuff. So, and I just, I politely decline and he says, well, it could be 30% increase, right? And it's one of these things that just, I don't like not having control over the ads that get shown in the app, right? This is, unlike television, like if you had a television show, you would be able to approve the ads that go on because you go out and seek sponsorship. If you're just starting out in app development, you're probably not going out and finding advertisers directly, although you could do that. Like if you, if you got enough steam, that's, that would be the next step. I mean, I was at a Google conference a couple of years ago and they talked about how at one point, you know, when you really start to build up steam, you could move from, you know, the ad networks onto going out and seeking sponsorship because you have that kind of clout. But I'm still with the ad networks and one of the things that is different from television is that I have no control over which ads are shown. I could just go into the settings for like Google Play and say, you know, don't show, show gambling, don't show pornographic ads, all that kind of stuff. But other than that, ads get served. And one of my main reasons for logic, and I hope this is a sound, sound basis, is that because Google is the one, it's, it's on Google Play and it is using Google ads and they're going to, that, you know, one hand knows what the other hand is doing over there and they're, they're controlling that and everything's working well, but it's a very scary possibility of getting apps removed. Now, these apps that were removed, I mean, they were probably really bad. This is one of the things about Google Play and to add the app store to an extent, which you have a lot of rubbish out there, a lot of scammy apps, a lot of, you know, plagiarized stuff, a lot of stuff that's just just really, really bad. It's just there to deliver ads. It's just there for the quick buck and everything like that. And that could be what these were, right? I, I've gotten, I've, I mentioned this before, I've gotten calls from companies saying they can give me, you know, uh, $30 eCPMs and I don't even have to serve ads. They just need access to the microphone, which is really creepy, right? Uh, or they just need access to the GPS or they just need access to browser history, right? And they all require some sort of like going in to, into my uh, security settings and, and requesting all these different permissions. And I always say no. I see, for me, it's an easy one because you know, my app was called Ear Spy. People are already, you know, who people who who download it are probably searching for spy stuff. They think about people are spying on them all the time, that kind of stuff, and they're really sensitive to that kind of stuff. So I don't real I don't add any more permissions, right? And every time somebody comes something like that to me, and and while it's very tempting, especially when you're struggling to to hear somebody say, you know, I can give you this higher eCPM, you know, we just use our SDK and everything like that. I don't like the idea of not knowing what goes into the app. I don't not like the idea of not having as much control as I can. Already with AdMob, you, you only have so much control. But anyway, so that's just something to look out, just something I've, I've been thinking about today. And uh, 
So, I mean, what do you think? Have you had it? So, oh yeah, the, the reason I think this, right, is because I have had an app removed because they said I had malware in it. This was back in the early days when I was just, I was using mediation. I was just, every ad network, yeah, sure, we'll just do all of them. We'll just put all of them in there, right? And they removed two of my apps. Now, they were spy apps. One was called Alarm Spy, which was like a motion sensor thing, and one was called um, uh, I Spy. So it was just like the, um, it, we just use the camera, so you put it in another room. And it wasn't, we didn't use the internet, we just used like a local IP address, like a web server in the app. So yeah, so I thought that wasn't, wasn't as creepy as, as, as it could be. But the free versions of those apps were removed, and what they said was they had malware. And the paid versions are still there, so people still purchase these things. Actually, I, I don't think I've removed, I may have removed them since then, just because I didn't want to update them. Right, but they said they had malware in them, and I appealed those decisions, saying, "No, I'm only using these SDKs." But you know, you know, you know the ad mob was the only one that I really trusted, and all these other ones, I didn't. So I'm always really skeptical about that. But let me know: Have you used an ad network where it's gotten you in trouble in you know in the past? Have you ever had an uh, uh, an app removed because of a certain ad network you use or have you ever had an ad network put ads in there that you did not sanction or that um yeah, you did because it's for me it's a very scary thing and this is one of the reasons why i only stick to google pro google products facebook products and app loving and app loving you know i don't know they, i don't they need to you know I might dump them because I, you know, I really make like <laughs> nothing from them. So anyway, those are my thoughts today. Let me know what you guys think, what kind of experiences you've had. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.